We've come to the centre of London to find out about satellite navigation systems. What are satellite navigation systems, you may well ask? Well, hopefully today we'll find out more. There are quite a few different versions available on the market from leading manufacturers like Philips, Blaupunkt and Alpine, which is the one that we're going to test today. So we're off now to Regent's Park to meet the man from Alpine, who hopefully is going to show us how it all works, and hopefully we won't need any more of these. In uh, Japan, our home country, uh, we started making navigation systems in 1982, and uh, the Japanese uh, have a requirement for this because they don't have street names and numbers in the way that we do, so getting across Tokyo is quite a problem. I mean, without giving any trade secrets away in terms of numbers you want to sell here, I mean, in Japan it's been an enormous seller, hasn't it? Sure, I mean, we're selling now 400,000 units a year, so it's a huge market. And with a population of uh, Europe being roughly similar, we could expect the same amount in a very short period. What parts of the country are covered by satellite navigation at the moment? Well, it's the map area that, that, that uh, is important. And the database presently is uh, within the M25, Kent, Surrey and Sussex. But it will quickly uh, roll out over the uh, United Kingdom until the end of 98 when it's all uh, complete. And what does it cost to get into satellite navigation in your car? Well, if we take the hardware, it's £2,200. Uh, the average time to fit depends, of course, on car, but two to three hours um, to install. And there you are, you're on the road, ready to go. And software upgrades will come at regular intervals? Yeah, every six months uh, there'll be um, a new CD-ROM available which will just extend that map database until the whole country is covered. And the whole country will be covered on, on just one CD? Oh yes, yeah, just one CD-ROM. So this is an important part of the system, Graham. The CD is contained in that little unit there? Sure, everything is in this box. It's a car radio size and the entire road network of the United Kingdom will be on the one CD-ROM. So inside the car, everything looks nice and neat. You've got the one LCD screen, which is actually built into the dashboard in this particular car. Tell us then how it actually works and how you program in the information to get you from A to B. Yep, we've got an aerial the size of a, um, a matchbox on the rear shelf. Uh, we've got the CD-ROM unit in the in rear the of the car and the video processor box for driving the pictures. And as well as the visual display, you also get a, an audio uh, signal when you're driving along as well. Oh yes, yes, it's uh, voice commands as well. And you've got a volume control here so that uh, you can hear it or turn it down, whatever you, your wish is. Sure, Graham. Let's actually put the system to the test now. We're here at Regent's Park. We want to go to Piccadilly Circus. We decided to go there. It's a menu system. So straight away, destination and what category. Category can be anything from a street train station, but in the case of Piccadilly Circus, let's use Tourist Point. The blue line is the route. So if we want to just look at the whole route, so you can kind of zoom out on the route? Well, I've asked for all route to be displayed, which means that it will compress the picture to whatever size is required to right. show the route. And here we are in Regent's Park, and we're going to move through down to Piccadilly Circus. So Graham, we've arrived here at Piccadilly Circus with the help of your navigation system. It's got us here safely and the right route as well. We should also point out that there are other systems on the market from Philips and Blaupont, but how would you say yours compares to theirs in terms of ease of use out on the road? 
the uh, German market where the uh, products have been on sale side by side over the last 14 months have indicated that ours is the better of the systems and I hope that's proven here. But one difference is the fact that we can scroll over our map database um, and that makes it very, very easy to select a de destination without having to know where you actually want to go.